As you know, there are many methods to analyze the dynamics of a nonlinear system. There are many methods, and one of them is just contraction methods. For example, one of them is contraction method. The other one is Koopman operator. The other one is classif- classical theorems in dynamical systems, such as center manifold, stable manifold, unstable manifold. So. The other one is Lyapunov, and there are、uh, lots of paradigms and approaches to deal with these dynam- nonlinear dynamics of a nonlinear system, such as our recurrent neural networks. So there are some definitions. This is really important that we say that M is a negative semi-definite matrix if X transpose. M X is less than zero. So X transpose M X is just the scalar. So it's a scalar, and it could be less than zero. If it is less than zero, we say that M is negative semi-definite.、Uh, before I start, I will talk about generalized Krasovsky theorem that. First, you create your your Jacobian, this A matrix, and as just a sufficient condition for that for the origin to be asymptotically stable, is that two PDF、uh, matrices P and Q, there exist P and Q, such that this is negative semi-definite. It means that. X transpose f x is less than equal to zero. If if you look at this, x transpose that matrix should be less than zero. So this is semi-definite. And in addition, if these are n, and your Lyapunov function is formed like this, f transpose p f of x is radially unbounded. Then the system is globally stable, and this is rare. It is useless because if everything is globally stable, it has limited opportunity to create something meaningful and interesting. Especially in biological systems, we don't have such thing.、Uh, Generalize Krasovsky theorem. The proof of that is very simple. You just write. That you differentiate with respect to time, you will see that these terms, instead of、uh, this one, you can you can see that this is negative definite. Therefore, because the dynamics of this,、uh, we have you have for example you have a Lyapunov function and the dynamics and the energy is reduced. And then the, your state space is contracted, and finally, if you have a fixed point at zero, it converges to that. But now I want to explain、uh, this this article, this important article in twenty fourteen. Although the idea is much older than twenty fourteen, goes back to many years ago. And、uh, for example, in nineteen ninety seven, the these were the active researchers in this area. Even if before that, nineteen ninety seven, people knew these ideas. So the contraction for ODE first, you assume that you have you have this system, this nonlinear dynamical system that happens in your. For example, in previous lecture, I was talking about neural OD. You can consider this as a limit of if you if you increase your layers and also you increase the number of time steps, then it converges to this kind of dynamics. Your discrete、um, uh, neural network converges to this dynamic system. And now you have this、uh, interesting Jacobian. And first, I should talk about matrix measure. There are many ways to measure a matrix. You assign a value to to a matrix, and there are many ways to do that. For example, 
one type of induced matrix measure is that you max uh, is the maximum of all eigenvalues in the spectrum of this matrix or the, this one in control theory we, uh, we, we talk about h infinity and so the maximum is very important So uh, there is a good important definition that we say that the system is said to be infinitesimally contracting with respect to this norm on a set V if there exists some uh, some norm in V and the associated matrix measure such that for some constant this holds And uh, the the key result is this theorem that says if it is infinitesimally contracting, then for every two solutions, x and t, for example, it starts at x0, and another initial point is y and 0, y and 0, then they converge to each other. So the trajectory converges to, to each other. Uh, so the distance between them reduces until it becomes zero, and uh, so this this is uh, just one theorem, and as you see, we call it displacement. So if we work on this displacement vector, if we can we can see how the dynamics of that with respect to time, and if you differentiate that, you will notice that. Um, it, everything is dependent on this maximum eigenvalue, the largest eigenvalue. And it is interesting that even you will see the rate of convergence in those things. So there is a definition that says um, a region of the state space is called contraction region if the Jacobian is uniformly negative definite in that region. So this is, uh, we mean by negative definite, we mean this. And uh, so given a system, any trajectory which starts in a ball of constant radius centered above the given trajectory and contained at all times in a contraction region remains in that ball and converges exponentially to this region. This region, something around that and something inside that, they um, converge to each other eventually. So this theorem that I explained in previous slide, this theorem uh, can be vastly extended simply by, you, by using a more general definition of a differential length. The result may be viewed as a generalization of linear eigenvalue analysis of the Lyapunov matrix equation. And it leads to necessary and sufficient condition of exponential convergence. So instead of just saying uh, theta is something, there is no theta, there is another coordinate transformation, which is much more general because it depends on x and t. And this displacement is now transformed, depending on if you're familiar with Riemannian geometry or different kinds of geometry of manifold, then you understand the meaning, the geometric meaning of these things. But if you don't care about geometry, you can just take the different, um, I mean, uh, take derivative with respect to time, and you will see that this happens. If you take derivative with respect to time, this is now your generalized Jacobian. And uh, so the rate of change of squared length uh, is this one. And so it can be equivalent to be written in delta x coordinate, if we come back to the original. And the rate of change of length is now this. So this is important. This is the rate of change. 
What can we do with that? So the exponential convergence to a single trajectory can be concluded in this region. Now we have generalized our previous theorem. So we say that a region of state space is called a contraction region with respect to a uniformly positive definite matrix, met metric. So this is our new metric. So if, if, uh, is, if, if it is uniformly negative definite, it means that, that this one is satisfied in that region. So the theorem says that any trajectory which starts in a ball of constant radius with respect to uh, that met metric M centered at a given trajectory and contained at all times in a contraction region, at all times you are in this region with respect to M, so it remains in that ball and converges to uh, converges exponentially to that trajectory. Consider now an exponentially convergent system which implies that there exists a beta, beta here, such that along any system trajectory, your displacement, the, the rate is, is like this. It is upper bounded by this. And now, defining a metric M by the ordinary differential equation, so we call it uh, Lyapunov equation. And uh, we can say, we can say that uh, we can write this, we can write uh, this one as, uh, as this. So this holds for any displacement and it shows that M is uniformly positive with respect to a suitable metric.